first thing off. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to Swinburne Talk, Talk Show. Show. My name is Natasha Basom. My name is Gobi. Today we have guests who are going to discuss about the effect of poverty and way to solve this serious problem. Here we have Mr. Hu In Nol, social worker from India. Mr. Justin, representative by Chinese government, and here we have Mr. Saran, resident from Thailand. So as you guys know, the world population are getting higher. Many people are born with luck, which defy that they born they are born in rich or normal family, but not everyone are born with that luck. There's still many people are born in poverty, but Gavin, what exactly poverty is? Thank you. Your question. Poverty is a situation that people unable to get basic necessity of life, such as food, clothing, and shelter. They often scare getting sick, or because they don't have enough money to go to hospital for treatment. So, what are some of the main effects of poverty? Uh, poverty is it bring out lots of negative effect. Um, but I think the most important relate to crime mm -hmm. and health problem. Let let me tell tell everybody about crime. If a child was born in a poor family, there is a big chance to start to be crime. For example, when people feel that their parents unable to buy them all basic needs, such as cars, phone functioning, and a lot of money. For people start looking for the opportunity to get money fast to buy their things. So some people often take part in cramming or activities. So the other effect is health problem. I think this one is very concerned too. I saw the article from World Bank organization that infants, babies who are born in poverty, they have a lower weight and they are more likely to die before their first birthday. So Mr. Saran, you are from Thailand. In your countryside, there are many people still live in poverty. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. So how they live? Uh, in general, many people in my village have low salary. They don't have enough money to pay for their student in terms of education and cost living. This is because their lack of education and training to, to work. Um, so as basic skill and special skill as well. And um, secondly, poor health is one of the best effect because we don't have a clean water. Is this look like this one? Don't have clean water is. And um, so we still drink the water from the lake or the river is dirty. And um, when we got a dip, we need to go to the city, but it's really far, like two hour by car. Um, so many, many people think uh, hospital is very expensive. When when person come to the hospital, mm -hmm. we need to pay a lot of money. That's right. Right? Yeah. So I realized that the poor are more likely to live shorter than the rich because they're not being able to pay for good food. Yep. They drink dirty water, yep. and when they get dizzy, they're not being able to pay for doctor. That's correct. Right. That's right. Uh, let me add uh, some more information about poverty in Thai. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also accidents of poisoning by contaminated food and water, which account for 50 million in, in uh, 2009. And so, when we talk about poverty, we always relate to poor, relate poverty to poor country, to yeah. poor standard of living. But poverty is big issue that happens on all over the world. Even developing countries in in China or United States. Fortunately, we have a guest who is president in China today, Mr. Justin. Um, do you think is it problem big problem in your country? Yeah, I think so. It is big problem in my country. Uh, China is big country. We have 1.3 billion Chinese people 
in China and we have 9.6 million square kilometers, which makes many people living in prone areas unable to enjoy facility and benefits. And they lacked education, they can't get a good job. That they become very poor. Mm -hmm. Poverty prevents people from getting a good quality of uh, life and living conditions. Mm -hmm. And this makes it easy for them to lose faith and courage in life. At the same time, poverty limits their ability to learn and understand their culture. Yeah. What about in India? India has the largest number of poor people in the world, is that correct? No, it's slightly from May 2019, India became uh, the country which had the second number of poor people in the world. The second? Yes, after the hmm. Can you give me more information about poverty in India? So I can say poverty in India is better than before, uh, according to Washington uh, in 2016, there are just 124 million people live in poverty. Yeah, they, mm, they poor nutrition, lack education, dirty water, and yeah, high chill mortality. Yes, uh, may you explain any cause of poverty in your country, in, in India? Uh, in my, opinion, in my opinion, there are two main reasons lead to poverty in India overpopulation and lack education. First, overpopulation, uh, you can imagine like that. Uh, Australia is two times larger than India, but Indian population is 54 times larger than Australian population. It's too proud. And, and Moreover, they lack education, so they can not find a, bad, a better job, cannot earn enough money for their big family. Mm -hmm. So, do you think education is the most effective solution? Yes, and yeah, we focus on education. Mm -hmm. yes. So, education is the key to make the poor more opportunity to have a job? Yes, uh, if the poor people might struggle to able to get a better chance for them, for their families, if they have one food and in life turning knowledge. And if we focus on uh, education, we, uh, we must ask our president in China, uh, have you thought about this uh, solution and uh, what, what did you do with uh, that so yeah. solution? Firstly, I agree with Mr. Huyin say, and uh, first uh, I say the Chinese have more people. So the Chinese government has set up many foundations to help poor people uh, solve their life, their questions. At the same time, they provide funds and place to college students to start business. And uh, Chinese government launched Project Hope, a project to establish primary school in many remote areas to help poor child gain the knowledge. Yeah, that's all. So, what about India? What did India government or organization do to reduce this problem? Mm, now, our government and our organization is trying to give education for poor people especially for women because we believe that if women had knowledge and and our trend and our trend they have they can found a high salary job um, yes and they more confident independent from their husband they can control their life so yeah they can earn more money and can you can control giving birth that's a reverse of Poverty. Yes. Uh, as I know, according to Time newspaper, uh, there's lots of people still live in the poor condition in Thai, and it's so little such sudden. What do you expect in the future in your country, or could you tell me any solution you want to to get in the future? Actually, before I tell you, I would like to tell you, uh, when Wu Yin said. 
it do. Everything is look like a tie. Yeah, it's a bad problem and something. <coughs> Self solution. But in the back, uh, many people experience poverty due to lack of education and health care or something. And then it is important that the government could provide the education of skill, special skill or something like that. And give other people or the government need to help uh, they could be provide the volunteer teacher to support the education poor, poor people as well. Um, furthermore, many people in my village are the farmers, right? And they, they think they need the new technology from uh, develop my, my product. product um, um, that is, will be made of have the high pipe and we we have the new technology from the reduce the the problem about the own technology mm -hmm. and then we can get the more the high quality of the product and after that we can send the our own product to the another country so mm -hmm. make it more yeah. valuable yeah. yeah exactly and we can get high salary high money income and goods like as well mm -hmm. yeah. that's good um, yes uh, and how about brain job uh, for the poor, I think employment, uh, creating employment is the only method to maintain and improve their asset for a long term. Uh, if they have the job, they have income, and they might easily to get rid of poverty. And Mr. Justin, uh, what do you think about creating jobs to reduce poverty? Uh, I think, in my opinion, uh, I think uh, if you just have uh, education, just have an knowledge, uh, you come to do more things. If you need to check your body or get some sick, you need to go to hospital and you don't mm -hmm. have money, you come to pay. That is what government need to do. We come to let them to get some cream and the Chinese government creates public jobs to give the poor people a chance to change their life. And we are promoting education to let people know how to change their life, how to get some rich, and uh, how to become rich, and to let people change poor lives through their own ability. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, poverty affect people health, unemployment, and can turn people to crime if they don't have a choice. Yeah, poverty is, is on, not only <coughs> individual version, individual family's problem. It's also related to society as a whole. I believe that our opinion and suggestion would be a good help to combat poverty. And also we get some negative effects from poverty, but we should be encouraged by its finding that, um, as the reported by uh, I call it by um, World Bank organization, around four hundred eighty-five thousand more primary school pupils and one hundred eighty-eight more secondary school pupils attend a good or better education compared with five years ago. Mm -hmm. And we hope that working together between individual organization and government can reduce this serious problem as well. So thank you everyone for being thank here you. today. Thank, thank you for listening to our topic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's <laughs>